came to Kenya for the first time. He came to visit me at my home on, on Lewa and we went for a walk with my whole family and the dogs and everything like that. And as I was work, scanning with my binoculars, I looked, I looked up and I said, wow, there are two lions up there. And, and I said, and they're watching us. Immediately my entire family, dogs and everybody else vanished and ran away up the road towards my house. But only Bob and I stayed. And Bob and I stood there and looked at each other and said, what do we do now? And then we slowly, slowly walked back. And afterwards I said to Bob, why didn't you run away too with my family? He said, because you had the gun. Now Bob didn't know that the gun that I had was a tiny little gun that couldn't stop any lion. But every day I'm reminded of that incident and of the, of the relationship that I had with Bob, of his sense of humor, his sense of style, his dress sense. And I still think sometimes uh, Bob is there with me when I'm walking down that road uh, with my dog. Obviously all of us miss Bob very much. I think about him practically every day, particularly when I'm here in the Safaricom office, I think about Bob going to say hello to him, going to talk to him. I miss that part and I miss very much our relationship and our closeness. But he also gave me an, a sense of, of humility and, and, uh, and understanding and also admiration for the courage of Bob during, during his time that, that he was struggling with, uh, with his disease. He gave me that sense of, you know, you can be in times of adversity, you can have courage and you can still have a sense of humor. I remember going to visit Bob when he was in hospital and every time without fail I'd get there, Bob was always impeccably dressed, color matching. And I walked in and he always remarked about my lack of dress sense and even told the, the nurse that came to see me, he says, this was my successor, but you wouldn't know it because of the way he dresses. And I smile when I think about that, and, and Bob always had that very key sense of dress. I remember his uh, lack of ability to dance properly. I remember he did this furry, furry dance once and was on social media, and I think it has uh, attracted a lot of uh, attention and funny attention. So this, this was the, bo the, the Bob that lives in my memory, a person with a great courage, uh, humility, and a person that really, really related to the people around him. Uh, I remember vividly a year ago at the end of the month, it was the Lower Marathon on a Saturday. And I remember finishing the half marathon and, and getting a text message from Bob of congratulations. He always tried to make people feel better. And uh, I think it's a, it's a great memory of Bob and, and I'm sure that we will think about him, you know, possibly sadly. But I, I always think about Bob of, of really living the dream of, of Safaricom of taking it to another level. He was a true friend. His memory will always be there, be very special, and, and your memory as a special, a very special person.